UAW because Lord, we are in a trying time. We need your help, Lord. We are dealing with this pandemic, God. We're dealing with hurricanes, God, and we need a word from you. Lord, we can't make it without you. You told us that if we trust in you with all of our heart and we lean not to our own understanding, if in all our ways we acknowledge you, you will direct our paths. Article 41, Section 2, it reminds us, oh Lord, that as members under the UAW Constitution, we have a right and a responsibility to go in and out among your membership and to care about your people in times of death and illness and distress. So Lord, I'm asking you to give us the wisdom, give us knowledge, give us understanding, give us direction, give us guidance so that as we, the chaplains, go out into your workplace, that we will be the members that are effective in this season and this time. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 The foundation of the chaplaincy program, which comes from the Constitution of the International Union, Article 41, Section 2, it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members <coughs> in the time of death and in every way acquit her or himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. And to put it in a godly perspective, from a Christian heart, it should be the desire of each union member. Okay, we're going to uh, at this time call up Bill Eady and Jerry Carson, uh, and they're going to turn it over to Brad for some words. Brother Bill. Uh, greetings. greetings and good afternoon to some and good morning to others. Uh, chaplains, uh, I'd like to bring you greetings to President Ray Curry, Vice President Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. Uh, we bring you greetings today from a Region 4 Chaplaincy Conference. Uh, what a blessing it is for us to be together today and we just want to say uh, chaplains, we want to thank you for all that you do in your places of work. <clears throat> we want to thank you for what you do for your communities, for your religious organization, but most importantly, what you do for your families. Uh, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you and God bless. Chaplains. I would also like to bring greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We can never tell you thank you enough for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families. Being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are and loving on them and sharing the good news. I'm going to turn this over to, to Brad uh, Shawanda. Uh, I would just want to say for, uh, we are so appreciative that Director Ron McEnroy and Assistant Director uh, uh, Brad Dutcher has brought this together. To th this is a historic time yeah. for a region to host and open it up to all the regions. So I just want to say thank you to them for bringing us together and in Vice President Browning also making it possible in the entire international executive board. So I, I firmly believe that chaplaincy is a big part of uh, getting our solidarity and getting people together and us serving and taking care of one another. And I see uh, uh, Margie Maddox with us too. And I see each one of the chaplains say thank you. Thank you for all that you do. We love you. We're family. I'm going to turn it over to Brad now. Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are, chaplains. I appreciate you uh, allowing us to be on this call. I want to bring you greetings from uh, 
Director McEnroy and Assistant Director Dutcher, they uh, definitely, uh, it was definitely a good thing that we, we were able to invite all the chaplains. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, there's about 70 people all masked up and willing to do what they need to do so we can gather together. So, hey, Cynthia, they're giving you some shout outs here. Uh, we do have you on the big screen in our in our education hall. Cynthia, you've been here before. You know what that looks like. So yes. uh, we uh, mm -hmm. we definitely are very uh, blessed and, and, and happy to gather today. So uh, I don't want to, you know, I, I think I could just end this by by saying uh, we wish you were here. And uh, as as you know, one day soon we'll be together at Black Lake. But until then, we're going to use the technology we have to and and use our masks or whatever we have to do so we can gather safely. And uh, God bless all of you. Uh, our director and assistant director would have been here. They were last night at uh, Randall Willis and, and, and uh, just a whole host of people put together a, a fantastic service that uh, our assistant director and director were able to attend. And they were just talking about it this morning as they headed off to John Deere bargaining. So uh, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers and all of our people that work for our, our fellow members and, and friends and families as we go through this thing that we call life. So. Uh, Again, we wish you were here, and Elder, I hope you're ready to say something because I don't know what to do next. So, here we go. We just thank uh, uh, the UAW for this opportunity, and I'm so glad to see uh, Sister Margie on our conference call. One of the things we've been asked, Sister Margie, is the certification. I gave them a little history, but would you give us the pleasure of addressing these chaplains at this conference? Let's receive Sister Margie. Hello. Hello. God bless you all. This is a this is an awesome moment to be with you. It's an awesome moment to, uh, to to be with the chaplains, and one day we'll be together. One day we'll be uh, we'll be the, we'll get the certification, so we can be together, and that they would be um, they would be to do what God wants us to do with the whole families, and not just in the workplace. We will have the ability to to solemnize marriages, to go to the hospitals, to do baptism, to do um, to do confirmation classes, to do uh, biblical and spiritual uh, counseling and healing. Uh, the certification of the classes takes us so much further, um, and you know I am so happy that God has has chosen me to be able, and I'm so happy that uh, Elder and uh, Jerry Carson had come and we worked this out for five years. And there's, remember this, there's no gates in hell will prevail over what God has ordained. So this, is, this is only a stepping stone, but on stepping stones, remember, we learned how to skip rocks. And this is what God's going to do for us. Um, it's not going to be stopped. There is no way because what God ordains, he finances. What he finances, he follows through with. So I just wanted you to know that I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy. I'm in the I'm in, in the Jericho house now. And, and now I have women that had uh, God has ordained their steps and they're in the phlebotomy classes and they're working on their masters and, uh, and counseling. And God has been so good to us. And he's been so good to the UAW. You know, the chaplains that get to have a part of what's going on in the workplace, but further. You want to go into the families. You want to go into the families' families. That's how you recruit your next workers is when retirement comes, you've already ministered to you've already ministered to the children and, and the children's children and, and marriages and and, and and burials. And that's what it is to to be get the certification to baby be able to be ordained and go further than just. Uh, a chaplain. I love you. I'm so glad that you have me here. I'm so, so glad that God has put us uh, together 
And I hope that that meeting place that you guys are in a circle of, uh, that's in tune to the heavenly heavens. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Sister Margie, we are here in Region 4, Ottawa, Illinois. This is the headquarters. And uh, I'm pretty sure Jerry Carson and Bill Eady will get with our Brash of Wonder, and they will get with the director, and we will see if we can do a certification for the Region 4 chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Albert. You know, we had one and two. Uh, we got. We ain't going to skip them numbers. You know, God wants us to go right in order, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Thank you, Margie. And we want to say hello to your husband, John. We pray that he's healthy and he's in good spirit. We know you're taking care of him. Give him our love. I will. I yes. will. He uh, He's down in his back, you know. I had him picking the garden, and we've been canning here. And, and then he got up today, and he said, well, I can't even walk. Well, you'll be better. Just Let's just pray for you and get, get you a cane and get back out in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, let's show our marching some love one more time. This, this is a historical moment where our director uh, opening up for us to invite other regions. This is more than just region four. And uh, before I go any further, uh, I just want to let the people that called in today know that you are on your post. And we thank you for calling in. We think we see most of you on the WebEx. We know a lot of you are on the phone. And we just thank you. And before I go any further, my good friend and former chairperson of the chaplaincy program, Brother Paul Nichols, would you like to say word to the chaplain? When, when I, <laughs> this may come from a, a different side, but when I see the ladies, I think of my wife. And this morning we were talking and what I would say to the chaplains, my wife has always heard before me, but she has always waited until God spoke to me and has allowed me to be the head and not the tail. So I just say that as humbly as I know how all the men and all the ladies, God still has an order. And we have an order under the UAW yeah. We thank you, Margie, for all that your your help. I think I've been certified and certified and certified. I don't know, <laughs> I, but we we thank thank the Lord that He allows us to work among the chaplains and among our people. Yes. Today, every man is God's favorite son, and every woman is God's favorite daughter. I don't yeah. know how He does it, but He does it for us all. And I am so thankful. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I think I could say what Brother Jerry said, love never fails. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you. Come on, let's celebrate Brother Paul one more time. <laughs> and staying in the protocol fashion, um, staff member, she calls in faithfully. She comes out of the Civil and Human Rights Department. Sister Cynthia Harris, would you like to address the chaplains to get this one? Thank you, Elder. Uh, thank you, Brother Edie, Brother Carson, uh, and all you chaplains for allowing me this opportunity. I'm so thankful for Director McEnroy and Brad and Assistant Director Dutcher for all that you do. But chaplains, just know that you are the salt of the earth. And once again, what uh, Brother Nichols and Brother Carson always says, love never fails. May God continue to bless you and strengthen you and give you traveling grace back to your home safely 
for your family and your loved ones. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. We have a regional coordinator on the line with us this morning. Uh, Ken Kenyon, can you unmute and say a word to the chaplains this morning? Brother Ken Kenyon. I think he got a, um, he's froze. So we're gonna move on. I see sister, one of our faithful chaplains out of region eight, she's a retiree. Sister Sarah Carretas, would you like to address the chaplains this morning? Let's receive Sarah. Good morning, chaplains. It is such an honor to gather with you with all this technology. I just want you to know the best is yet to come. And uh, I thank Brother Paul Nichols for saying that we're all God's favorites because we love being first in someone's life and just know that we're first in the master's hand and that we're in great hands with Bill Eady, Jerry Carson, Elder Herb Taylor, and all of you chaplains be because Article 41C, as Sandra read, it is our duty to render service to one another. We love you, can't wait to see you. God bless you, and uh, I love you too. <laughs> I think I think um, we are getting an idea of what we do on Wednesday, what we do on Friday, and what we do the first Monday of every month. And the last few holidays, Sister Margie, God has had the chaplain conference call. We was on the line for Good Friday. We was on the line for Thanksgiving. We was on the line for Christmas. We on the line next Monday, which is going to be Labor Day. Day. Yeah. So we're going to call in Monday and we're going to rock the house uh, 7 at 7 p.m. I'm going to have Region 1 Chaplain Robert Ghoston to come and officially acknowledge all of the regions that are here as Region 4 celebrate a conference like never before. Brother Robert Ghoston. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah again. Hallelujah. First, I want to just thank, um, I really want to thank Region 4 for having this affair. Uh, it's been beautiful. Uh, their food was said that it's better than uh, Black Lake. And uh, I can attest it was real good because we found out that the director and the assistant director was in the back of the building cooking the food. So, you know, leadership leads by example. Uh, when I call out your region, please stand. Region one. Region 1A. Region 2B. Now I'm going to say this last region for last, for a good reason. Region 8. Region 9A. The Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So region four. This is um, truly a blessing. I don't want to leave Ken Kenyon out. Ken, can you hear me? Or are you still froze? I think he's still froze. No, I but can't. That's okay, Ken. That's okay. We got to. Uh... Okay, go it on. 
I wish they could be there. Okay, that's all right. Let's just show Ken some love. A few years ago, uh, Jerry Carson, Bill Leedy, and myself, we were given the task of leading this chaplaincy program. And one of the first things I can remember was Jerry Carson reaching out to Margie Maddox and certification classes started in the state of Ohio. It moved through the region. It finally landed up to the chaplaincy conference out at Black Lake. And I'm just going to ask at this time, if you were certified at Black Lakes, please stand. Anyone that was certified. <laughs> so we have done some great things. Mm -hmm. Brother Paul, Brother Paul uh, at this conference in Region 4, a young man out of Region 9A, Sister Margie, out of Connecticut. He came to the conference, Paul, because God has ordained this season to be the season for 9A to represent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this Woo! brother did. Amen. But one of the things that is so important to chaplaincy, the vision that he gave us, and that was to find my Joshua's. Mm -hmm. And we realized that Joshua is not an age. Joshua is not a sex. Joshua is not a denomination. Joshua is a spirit. Yeah. And that, Amen. that spirit have encamped over the chaplaincy program like never before. And I thank, I thank God that the chaplains of the UAW, including myself, we did not mess it up. God is pleased with us. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we do this conference call, we would be remiss if we didn't try to reach out to those that are on the telephone, that's not on the WebEx. So if you own the telephone, I'm going to do a quick roll call to show them what we do. Region 1, roll call. Anyone from Region 1? Pauline yes. Rose. Local 889, Fiat Chrysler, retiree. Region 1. Angie Green, Local 1796, Wayne County Community College District. Anyone Willie else? Willie Anderson. Willie Anderson, Local 150, retiree. Bishop Willie Anderson and, Frank, and Frankie Anderson. We are. Uh, uh, she's she's going to announce herself. She was. Frankie Anderson, local 412, 36 District Court, State of Michigan, retiree. Mm -hmm. Would oh. that be anyone else from Region One? Region One A. Rosa Lisa Dukes, Lok Go ahead, Rosa. Rosa Floyd, UAW Local 600, uh, retiree Ford Motor Company. Sister Rosa Floyd, we're going to park right here. We want you to say a prayer. We can't see Rosa, but we're going to feel the anointing Ooh, that yes. comes from this yeah. powerful yes. woman. Yes. Could you pray for the chaplains that are here? In Ottawa, Illinois, Sister Rosa, please at this time, give us a prayer. Gracious Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
Father, we come to you today as your humble servants, Lord. Father, we come to you thanking you, Lord, first and foremost, Lord God, for what you're doing and what you're going to do. Lord, we thank you for the chaplains in Ottawa, Illinois, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for the work that they're doing. Father God, we thank you for the assignment they've been given. Father God, we ask you right now that you would just bless them, Lord. Father God, we ask that you put your doves of love and angels of protection around them. Lord God, we ask you right now to bless their homes. Lord God, we ask you to bless their goings and their comings. Lord, and as you bless their homes, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now that you anoint their homes with the precious blood of Jesus, Lord. Father God, we ask you right now that you anoint them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now that you remove and replenish, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now that you restore and remodel, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now, Lord God, to uplift and encourage, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now to be in the midst of any decision that has to be made, Lord God. And Father God, we ask you right now to bless our executive board. Bless all those on the executive board. Lord, we ask you to bless Gary Carson and Bill Ely, Lord God. Father God, we ask you to continue to bless Elder Herb, Lord God. Father God, we ask you to bless all of our regional directors, our local officials, Lord. And Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Father God, we ask you right now to remove anything, Lord God, that might be a hindrance to us, Lord God, that might be an enabler to us, Lord God. Father God, we ask you right now as we go about on the Article 41, Section 2, Lord God, that we just render aid to our brothers and sisters, Lord God. And Father God, that we do not do it selfish, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you for this opportunity, and we thank you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the work, Lord God. We thank you for the time, Lord God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for the blessing of both, Lord God. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, we send this prayer, Lord God, giving you honor because you are so deserving of it. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you in the mighty, 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 matchless name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. He's a name above all names in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, as we call upon God. Hallelujah, that we don't call upon him, Lord God, selfishly, Lord God. We call upon God, Lord God, to bless us and everything and everyone around us, Lord God. And we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus. 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 We thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In your son Jesus' name. Lord, we pray. We say hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Rosa. Uh, continuing. Continuing the roll call, I heard Lisa Deuce out of region. Lisa, go ahead on Deuce. and introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So Lisa Deuce, local 245 Ford Motor Company, active. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone else from region 1A? Cinda Kimbaraskis, local 6000, state of Michigan, retiree. Thank you, Kim. Kimmy. Uh, Douglas Bullard, local eight. Sorry, sir. Douglas Bullard, local 898 Ford Motor Company, retiree. Green Price, local 182 Ford Motor Company, active. Thank you. Region 1D. Regina Hill. General Motors, Local 598, active. Thank you, Sister Regina. And I know we have Ken Kenyon, Regional uh, Coordinator for Region 1D. 
uh, Region 2B. Region 2B, do we have anyone on the call from Region 2B? Yes, sir. Uh, Mike Woodson, Region 2B, Local 685, uh, Stellantis, Chrysler, Fiat, and all that. Man, it is such a joy to hear you guys again. <clears throat> My goodness. This is your first time calling? <clears throat> yes, sir. I'm at work. I really can't get away like that, but uh, Scott Arrington uh, shot me that number, <laughs> and I said I'm calling right now. Thank you, my brother. Hopefully the next time we meet, you can be here with us, and God bless you. Continue to call in. God bless you. Brother, I wasn't notified of this, and so I'm going to my local to find out why. And uh, hopefully we can correct this, and uh, I get to uh, worship with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also have in our presence Region 2B, uh, Region Chaplaincy Coordinator, uh, the preacher back here, <laughs> David Watson. David Watson, and David, just raise your hand. They know you. And uh, my special anointing singer, prayer warrior, uh, his wife, Sister Trace. We're going to save uh, the next region for, la for last, but uh, do we have anyone this morning out of Region 8 that is on the call? Region 8. Sarah Carruthers. Retiree Region 8. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, my brother. Paul Nichols, Local 1895, Oklahoma, Ford, retired. William R. James, 862, Ford. Retiree. Anyone else out of Region 8? Come on, Sister Cynthia. Yes, Elder. I was just waiting on the people on the call. Uh, greeting Cynthia Harris, Bell Helicopter, Local 218, International Staff. Amen, 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 amen. Would there be anyone from Region 9 on the conference call this morning? Region 9A on the conference call this morning. But we do have one from Region 9A, his first time at our conference center. Brother, we want to give you another good shout out. He's the president of his local, and he got a lot of future in chapels. So God bless you, my friend. Do we have anyone from Region 4 on the conference call? Region 4. Good morning, brothers and sisters. So good to see you. This is Angela King from Local 31 GM. God bless you. So good to see you all in red. Enjoy your conference and be safe. And put the mask back on. God bless you all. <laughs> Amen, my sister. Amen. <laughs> region four. Uh, Anthony Walker, region local thirty-one, region four, EAP rep. Glad to see everybody there, and please enjoy that Pat Gray House Center. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. It's all the chaplains. I thank you. I thank you, and continue to pray for you. Thank you, Brother Anthony. Anyone else on the conference call from Region 4? Yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Chapman. This is Sherry Gillis, Local 31, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas, active. That's right, laugh, laugh, laugh. Like your step right now, Chapman's in the Lord. 
and he will give you the desires and potentials of your heart. Won't he do it, Chapman? Yes, he will. Give it up for Jesus, Chapman. Give it up for him. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, Sister Gillis. I uh, uh, want to share a quick story. Everyone else is from re Region 4, a uh, region that is attending this conference. Um, I want to share this with the Lord put in my spirit because a lot of you, the enemy was trying to mess with your mind. He was trying to tell you you didn't have your red shirt. This is the union way. But what the Lord told me to tell those who don't have the red shirt, I believe me and the brother, we was together. Is that brother in the house, is he still in, in the house? I know Mike, he got his shirt. He went and found some red shirts from somebody else. But this brother, he walked up to me and, and we spoke something in existence. We sung that song. You remember what we sung this morning? Stand up, stand up and help. <laughs> if you don't have on a red shirt, listen to what the Lord wanted us to say to you. Help me out. I know it was blood. All right. Blood. 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 All right. <laughs> all yes. Right. All right. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. And um, the young man that uh, wanted to steal my identity. <laughs> uh, 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 I had a witness here this morning on who I am. <laughs> Brother Dan Kinderberger verified that this is Elder Taylor. Brother Dan, come on up here. <laughs> Brother Dan, we'd like for you to stand in front of the camera and offer a word of prayer for these chaplains. Dan was the local president at my local. Uh, we had some awesome conversation, and there was something he said one day, I heard him say it for the first time, when I needed to hear. Yeah. See, on that, on that particular day, I needed to be in care. All right. And this is what he said to me. How are you doing? He said, blessed and highly favored. That's what he said. Amen. Blessed and highly favored. Can you pray for us, Brother Dan? Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, Herb Taylor. Dear Heavenly Father, where two or more are gathered in your name, there you are in our midst. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to protect us and watch over us, guide us, and keep us safe in your arms. Yes. Please, Lord, watch over our chaplaincies while they head back home today to the respective locals, protect their families while they're on the road, and for others that are traveling on the road today. <laughs> Lord, continue to bless and watch over our veterans. And for all those folks doing the work that they had to do to get those folks out of Afghanistan. Pray for the families that have lost the 13 servicemen and women that day. Yeah, Lord, God. please watch over and strengthen our international executive board, our president, Ray Curry, all of our staff, all of our directors, all of our international staff. Please, Lord, watch over all of our brothers and sisters, both active and retired. And Lord God, we want to thank you for all the blessings you've given us. We ask a tremendous amount from you every single day. Yes. But we need to pause and pray and thank you for the blessings that we have received thank already you. and continue to receive. Amen. Lord, Amen. Astronomical, the amount of help and prayers that you give us. Lord, thank you for carrying us in our times of trials and tribulations. Yes. We don't think you're there, but we do know. So the footprints in the sand when there's only one set of footprints we know that those are your footprints carrying us through all these mm -hmm. trials and tribulations. Yeah. thank you lord man thank you jesus please lord watch over all those who are affected by the hurricane 
Ida and yes, the ma Gulf Coast, the folks that are battling the COVID-19 crisis and pandemic. Yes, Lord, please protect those who are battling the wildfires over in the West Coast. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. And Lord, Heavenly Father, just thank you for all the blessings. And I, I ask special privilege today too, to watch. Yes. To watch yes, over Scott. my mother-in-law. Yes. Yes, yes, right thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I thank you for that special okay. privilege. And I know that he can hear us and, and he'll make her well. Yes. We ask your heavenly name, Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah. God bless you, brother Amen. Dan. Good to Amen. see you. We love you, Dan. Amen. 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 When you when you're when you're broken, that's when you really reach through to God. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen brother Amen. Nichols. What 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 I'm what I'm gonna ask that the people on the phone do is uh, mute the phone right now. And Brother Paul, there's a prayer you have for the chaplains. And they need to hear this prayer coming from a former chairperson of the chaplaincy program. Paul right now presently is out of Region 8. So Paul, do us the pleasure and allow God to use you to bless this delegate at this conference. Please, Paul. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we realize, Lord, that you're three in one. You're the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We realize, Lord, that you have allowed us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. May we never forget where our help and where our strength comes from. Yeah. Not a one of us are higher than the other. All of our titles, we can put them in the trash can, so to speak. And yet we give honor to whom honor is due. We realize, Lord, that if there's any honor, it all comes from you and you have blessed us. We ask you to bless these chaplains that are gathered together. We realize, Lord, that when a body of people gather together there's a unity there's a charge there's an inspiration there's a i guess the perspiration but lord we think of the ones that put it all together we haven't heard from ken ken thomas but we know he he was instrumental in a lot we love that brother we ask lord that you bless them all lord let your presence lord be so great that we will not look to one state or the other, but we will realize that our Heavenly Father yeah. has poured his blessings out upon all of us. Yeah. And Lord, wherever the eagle lands, we'll thank God for it. But we realize yes. that you're the greatest eagle of all. Yeah. So can we give you praise. We give you honor. We ask, Lord, that Father, these chaplains will be so charged that they will love their brothers and sisters because, Lord, you told us the greatest commandment is to love God. Yeah. And, Lord, you said to love one another as we love ourselves. Yeah. So, Lord, we just ask, we think of Micah 6 and 8. And it says, what does the Lord require of thee? But to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Ooh. We ask these things yeah. in your precious name. Give them courage. Give them strength. For Lord, many times it seems as a chaplain that you're all alone. You don't have a congregation standing behind you, but you've got workers that have troubles and have cares. Give them big shoulders. Let them look to you. Let them fast and pray that they may be able to be a help in the time of need. For Lord, church, truly, Article 41, Section 2. Yeah. is that yes. we need to be able to be a, of assistance to our brothers and sisters. Yeah. Lord, no one, Lord, no matter how low they are, you can bring them through the cross and you can heal their marriage. <laughs> you can heal their differences and their cares. And yeah. let us give honor to our presidents and our local uh, 
executive board, let us be faithful workers. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We will close our conference call uh, today by Joe Fletcher rendering amazing grace, and then we'll be in the hands of Brad. Amen. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see through many days and snares Hallelujah. I have already come yeah. Yeah. tears grace has brought me safe thus far and grace yeah. will lead me home. Yeah. Yeah. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Bless Israel. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just Glory want to say, to God. it's been a blessing and an honor uh, to host, not me personally, but our region, Region 4, to host this uh, chaplaincy conference. We thank all those coming from other regions, especially Region 8, who's having their conference coming up soon. Um, so we just uh, praise God for that. Thanks for uh, our VCAP reps, uh, Kelly, Dan, and John, for coming here sharing with us today. Uh, Phil and uh, Brad, who uh, gave us Campaign of Hope also this morning. So we're just going to close it in uh, prayer. Father, we just praise you and thank you for what's going on here at the Pat Greenhouse Lord. Educational Center these uh, last three or four days, Lord. We just lift uh, everyone up that's here as they travel back to their homes. Just take the yes, tools they've learned so here good. to go back to their locals, to their community, and reach the people that need to be reached. And Father, we just yes. want to reach those that are on the conference call, on the phone or the WebEx, just yes. to touch them. And thank you for their time and their consideration of joining us in our conference. Yes on this day. So Father, we just uh, come together in unity, we come together in solidarity, and yes. we just do what is our duty 
is to render aid and assistance to our brothers and sisters in any way that we can. And it's in your precious name that we all say, Amen. 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 All right, we are ending our conference call. And at this time, please 